To close this out here, we've got Jason Mashoff. Jason joined our team not quite a year ago. Jason's an agronomist, started his um, career at Pioneer, then got into crop insurance. We've known each other for seven or eight years. He lives in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri, and is moving to Nashville, Illinois, which is just outside St. Louis. We'll turn it over to Jason and let him wrap it up. Man, yesterday I had to use a microphone. I like to have my hands free, so now I'm back to I was all excited. I get to use a lapel, and now I got to use a microphone again. It's okay. I'll be okay. So here are some foundational steps, I'm calling them, some things that I think are important as you consider what we talked about today. And I'm going to take just a couple minutes and go over these six points, and I'll keep them brief. So subsurface drip irrigation on your farm. We obviously think that's one of the best risk management, increasing yields, bringing yield stability tools to your operation. If you have a system and you're ready to do another one, if you don't have one and you want to consider one, please let us know, write SDI on this card. And the best time to start looking into that for your operation is now. It takes a little bit of time to get estimates of things together. So if you're even interested in something next fall or winter, let's start that discussion now. And I think we will be thorough and get that done for you. Again, I told you I'm going to breeze through some of this. Water quality. We had a great presentation from Greg. This is another foundational step to getting the yield goals that you guys want. We have water bottles with us here today. Please take some of those. We've got Cortland our in-house specialist, and we have forms. Keep in mind, as we talk about irrigation water, please also test spray water if it's from a different source. It's the same thing. If we're spraying high bicarbonate or some sort of water that's going to tie up foliars, bio biologicals, herbicides, and let's make sure we understand our spray water as well. It's a cheap thing to do to give you that assurance that what you're putting up to the plant will hopefully get to the plant. It's $80 roughly for the irrigation test and closer to 30 for the spray water. Any questions, please see Portland after this. Moisture monitoring. Travis did a great job with the fixed moisture probes, discussing those. We are your dealer. We have multiple options. Definitely want to help you to you know, discern what is the best for your operation. We are also excited to introduce the virtual probe. And Kurt said in his presentation, having a fixed probe with the virtual probe is a great solution to start with. The EaraWatch probe is $4.75 per acre. If you want to do a whole farm operation, we have some volume discounts there. As you think about that virtual probe, let me mention this. Right now, we got one satellite image once a day, thermal image. Starting, the EarWatch is launching a new set of satellites here in a few months with their first one. It'll go up on SpaceX. Their goal is to get two thermal images per day, every day of the year around the globe. So they are investing in this technology. And as we grow with them, hopefully, we hope to get more data, better data, better resolutions to help you manage your farm. I think the key with EarWatch is, and this is whether you're on dry land or you're on an irrigated scenario, is we get multiple probes. Even if you have a field, a dry land field, and you want to manage different areas, this tool brings about plant health alerts in addition to your virtual moisture probe. I used it this year on some clients where I saw some areas that the plant health was degrading. I could send them a screenshot of it and said, hey, go walk this field. From a directed scouting tool, this is a great place for your whole farm operation to consider. It has lots of things and we can share more with you. I want to get to this point before I wrap it up. If you look at this yield map, on what would be your left, this is a harvested field from this fall. It's an irrigated pivot. One of the neat things we can do with EarWatch is get all the data from last year on that farm. If you look at that bottom left coordinate where there's a lack of yield for some reason, we went ahead and we separated that quadrant out like this. And if you look at the top part right here, the highest yielding zone. So we just submitted this field. We're going to grab all the thermal imagery data from this past year. We're going to go dissect that, see what we can learn. And he can still hopefully have some sort of effect on this field going into 2024. If you have a challenging field, you want to learn a little bit of something before the year starts, let us work with you and we'll grab that data from last year.
What do we need? If you have fields that you want to look back on or you want to enroll a couple fields this year, which I would suggest, we just need a shape file of that fields. We will go ahead and get you logged into the EraWatch system. You'll have an account and we will be able to see that data and work alongside. I would say try at least one or two fields. I think this is a technology beyond irrigation that's going to continue to bring its value. We are a dealer and we would love to help you with this. Go ahead and check mark that on here and we'll walk that out. Another one of our partners that we are essentially dealers for is Agronomy 365. We use Agronomy 365 for soil sampling as in-season tissue and soil samples. And I'll talk about that here in a little bit. Baseline RX does a little bit more than your standard soil test. And I'll just probably leave it at this today with the lack of time. If you look at everything on the left side of your screen, this is what comes with a standard analysis. If we look everything on the right side, these are some additional tests, some proprietary to Agronomy 365 that come with their soil test. They have a heavy focus on biology. You'll see terms like that, and SLAN, and HT3. We're looking at soil structure, how the micro microbiology release nutrients. We've seen great value in this added layer for soil sampling. So this would replace a grid sample, like a two and a half grid, whatever you might do. This is an example of a field that was from Indiana. This one's almost 100% the same soil type. You look at a soil type back. And there's the topography of this field on the right. So they do zone creation. Instead of two and a half acre grids, whatever you might do, they create zones. They have a proprietary process and how they do this. They use a bare soil image. They use LIDAR. And then they use flow and accumulation of water. And they meld these three together and they create zones. So if you submit a field, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. This has 10 zones broke out, but in reality, they usually push the field down into three to five management zones. Tens is a lot. You got too many small pockets in there to manage. Then they'll give you sample points and you're gonna sample within each zone so many times and you're gonna have a composite from each zone. So if you have five zones in a field, you're gonna submit five sample bags, one from each zone that's a composite. And that's the data we're gonna work from. This will be a little hard to see, but if you go and you have five buckets and you go sample a field and you do each zone and you collect each zone in the right bucket, you'll actually see a different in color, difference in coloration from each of those zones. And they just do an excellent job of separating that out. Even in a field that was almost 100% the same soil type, I know you can't see this gradient very well, they still nailed it and they got that just from their proprietary methodology to grace those zones. They also provide scripts are $3.50 an acre. That's for as many scripts as you want. And those scripts are managed by those zones. If you need some variable rate fertility, you want planting, seeding rate subscriptions, we offer that through Agronomy 365 in this baseline RX process. What does this cost? Zone creation is your biggest cost. It's $6.50 an acre. That's a one-time once you got your zones created, we should not have to redo those for any reason in the future, unless something major changes. As I mentioned, scripts, scripts will be 350 and that would be an annual cost. You get as many as you want for that. The very first year that we do a, a zone creation sample, it's $95 per zone. Okay. And then we don't need as much detail the following, let's say you're doing every third year, every second year, whatever your rotation you're on, it's going to be $70, $75 roughly to do that. But once you get past that zone creation cost, a pretty efficient way from getting soil fertility recommendation. And our goal is once we create your base layer, we're going to ask you, what equipments do you have? How can you apply fertilizer? How does your operation work? And we want to make fertility recommendations prior to you going to the field and timing as well. So we want to say we want X amount of this with the planter. You're set up on the planter. If you have Y drops, we're going to push this to your Y drop. We want to give you that detail of, of a roadmap as you go to the field. Here's an action step. Zone creation might be a little bit different. What you're used to, I would try a field or two. I would say if you can start now and research that and get comfortable with it, and we make some differences on a field or two, you're ready to roll for 2025 and maybe incorporate more into your operation. 
spending that time to do a little research now will get you a little bit ahead of the game. If you want more information on that, please check that. All we need is a shape file from you and a pen to where that field is, and we can get that process rolling and we'll create an account where you log in to see the data that comes from it, and we see that as well, and we walk alongside you. In-season soil and tissue. You heard Kelly Garrett talk a little bit about saturated pastes and some different ways to manage in-season plant health. So we still like to marry up in-season soil and tissue with the fertility samples we took in the spring. We use the same lab for it all. It all makes sense. And our goal is to find prints. It'll take one to two years of you doing end-season soil and tissue for us to delineate what the trend is and how that is on your farm. We don't want to be reactionary necessarily. What we need to learn is that plant taking up the nutrients and when. If we get a tissue that comes back and it shows low and we react to it and we don't have any data in the past, it might take it up a little bit later than we thought. And we really haven't gained anything. So if you have not embarked on some in-season analysis, I would encourage that on a field or two to learn. And let's not be reactionary. We want to have that plan in place through Baseline RX for you, and we will probably stick with that until we get a couple years of that in-season data to go with it. Our whole goal with that is to make better pre-season planning decisions in the first year or two. This is what our in-season sampling package looks like. I'll mention one thing before I leave. So they developed a test when we do in-season tissue that they sample out just the midrib of the plant. Again, I don't know that any other lab is doing this. And they have found when they analyze the midrib compared to the leaf outside, sorry, my voice is going with my cold. They get one to two weeks ahead of what's gonna show up on the leaf. It's given you a little bit of look ahead. And we started to see some of this data this past season late when they introduced it. We're excited about learning more this year in season and see if we can get a little bit of a look ahead, which will allow us to make better decisions. So if you want to do one or two fields of in season soil and tissue, it'll cost you around $550 per field. You'll have shipping on that and you'll have sampling costs if you want to pay somebody to sample for it. Again, an action step, and if you want us to get you more details, please mark that and leave that with us. All right, green lightning. Anybody interested in this machine? Isn't that crazy? Just excited. Have the opportunity to talk with the owners, meet the owners. I'm going to boil it down and just reiterate what's already been discussed. As I see it, there's two ways to interact with this machine right now. One is get connected with NutriDrip. We've got it in multiple states, multiple crops. We applied in different ways. Watch our social media, our agronomy updates, and we'll educate you as we learn. You know, the other option is to buy a machine and you can be part of that initial process. Machine is 30, 38500 Right now, if you order a machine, I just texted the owner, April 5th to 8th or 9th is the delivery date, okay? 3% down, that gets the order started. Their balance is due before it's shipped to your farm. They have a satisfaction guarantee within the first year of purchase. If you're unhappy for any reason whatsoever, they'll refund your money. And they give 18 month parts replacement as well. The new machine, they expect we're gonna be learning. Those that are earlier adopters gotta expect that, but I feel they'll 100% stand behind it. Kurt talked about these things. The power usage is very little. We talked a little bit about sustainability, carbon intensity, carbon credits. The carbon credit has been figured for this machine. But if you think about it, you don't have the energy to produce a synthetic fertilizer. You don't have the energy to transport it because this machine's sitting right in your shed, right? Once they get this all approved, they feel there'll be a $40 to $50 per acre payment to the farmer every year for using green lightning because of the less carbon footprint from synthetic fertilizers. We're going to walk along with that and see how that works out in the future. And these are the next steps I mentioned. We can get you one ordered to be part of the research process or follow along. We are your dealer. Last but not least, no applause, and I'll wrap this thing up. We want to do our best to give you guys the information in season. If you haven't already, check the box that you'd like to get some weekly texts and updates. Give us your phone number and your email address. We want to share what we learned throughout the growing season. Stay connected with you. That's our number one. You can also text agronomy to that number, and it'll populate you that list.
with that. Yeah, it was a little longer than I wanted again. Sorry about that. Any quick questions for me? I'll be around. Happy to visit as long as you want. I'm battling a little bit of a cold, so I might fist bump you instead of shake your hand. Thank you for coming out. We look forward to working with you on your farm, hopefully making a difference.